Heat. And the country needs him to deliver if they're to have a chance. They're working their way up near the top. Again, Azerbaijan, your leader, heading into the final night of competition. Yeah, boy. That looked really good. Crisp offense from Hartunian. Immediately trying to slip down low for a lace. 4-0 lead and some early fireworks from Hartunian. He has Ali really reeling right now. Not a real clean lace underneath, but effective enough to get one turn. Beautiful ankle pick. And then the transition right, right into the lace. A pair of laces, 6-0. The coaching staff for Armenia over there is asking for two additional points. I thought they had a case. They could have been 8-0. So Haran Tunyan not wasting any time. The U23 gold medal winner from last year, world bronze medalist. And he comes right back in on that outside single and he drops Otley for two more. Haran Tunyan again immediately, look at that pressure he's putting on the leg of Otley and he will roll him over near the edge. Armenia wants the two. The referee did not signal it. Let's see if a challenge comes from the corner. And they are going to challenge, and I don't blame them. I don't either. Suleiman Atli was sitting on his rear end. two there, clearly. So you are seeing real time what Mr. Antonio Silvestri is taking a look at. And we will see if Armenia ends this match early if two points is given and the call is overturned. Right now, no points. Is there inconclusive evidence to show? Challenge decision on mat B, no points, touch with elbow, but not 90 degrees, challenge lost. All right, so a good job by the officiating crew. Well worth the risk, I think, if you were Mania. It was close. So the decision from Mr. Silvestri said he did touch his elbow, but his back never reached 90 degrees. So we're gonna go back to neutral position, eight to one. Halfway through. Aratunian right back on the attack. He's been in them shots. Sotli comes in with his first offense and he'll get the two. So Suleiman Atli gets the takedown in two. He immediately hooks up a gut wrench. Atli's gonna try to get right back into it. Unable to get any turn, but a takedown and maybe breaking that momentum that Aratunian had. Aratunian's been on the flip side of this as well. If you think back, to those 2019 European Championships against Becca Lomtadze where he was down nine nothing and scored 17 points to win his first European title back in Bucharest, Romania. Now he's up eight to one, excuse me, eight three on two time European champion Suleiman Atli from Turkey. Bad news for Atli, good news for us. Now he has to get to his offense. First period, you normally see a lot of people feeling out, taking their time, waiting, conserving energy for that second period. That luxury is out of the window for Suleiman Atli. He has to get on his horse and get riding. Open red. Red open. One more start in the center. 13 seconds to go, first period, 8-3. Haratunian scored the first eight real quickly. Had a six-point exchange in the opening minute. Suleiman Atli able to get the point on the lost challenge. Then he got a takedown right off the whistle, and Atli trying to get back into it, trails by five, and I think that takedown again, huge. Again, you're looking at a two-time European champion, an Olympian, two-time Olympian. No panic in Atli, even though he's in uncharted territory, up a weight, down five, heading into the final period. Look at that beautiful pick. 
right side to the head, pulled the head down as far as he can go, took that left hand, stole the ankle of Suleiman Atli, picked up a takedown and then transitioned right into a pair of gut wrenches, or excuse me, leg laces. So let's see what Otley can do here. Referee getting everybody into position and we are underway. Again, the red from Armenia, Hartunian. Red singlet, the blue from Turkey with Otley. Hand fighting Otley, trying to work off that collar again. And here comes Hartunian, same recipe for success. Dropping down around the ankle, gets the takedown and Otley a little banged up from the exchange. Suleiman Atli favoring his right foot, right ankle. And he tried stopping that before the takedown was awarded. I'm not sure why they didn't pause the action. He asked for it prior to Haratunian finishing the shot. And you see him turn here and he's gonna raise this right hand. And it's that same combination for her, her and Tunian. He had that heavy collar tie, brought the head down, hit the pick, and that's twice he's been able to get Otley. We're gonna go back in parterre. And I'll tell you what, her Tunian's gonna drop Hold down up. immediately, start to look for a lace. Ali was anticipating that, tried to cut it off, unable to do so, and here goes Haratunian to work and his crap. Trying to hook up the lace, Ali trying to break it. Suleiman Ali with his right arm in there, trying to prevent from getting turned. He gives up one two-pointer to make it 12-3. And Ali in danger of giving up two more as Haratunian is in. The whistle. And Armenia is going to win a gold medal. Is a is a Match Wait. is over. Technical superiority taking advantage of the parterre position. Challenge will come from Turkey. While this challenge gets reviewed, this raises the question moving forward. Arsen Hartunian, if you remember back to the 2019 World Championships, was clearly too big for 57 kilos, wasn't the same wrestler cutting all that weight. He's gonna have to move up to 65 kilos, but if you're familiar with international wrestling, you know Vaskin Tavanyan, who competes at 65 for Armenia is there. And that run that he went on to win the individual World Cup, defeated Ismail Musakayev. So we're gonna get I think this match is going to get closed out. But what does Armenia do moving into the next Paris or to the next next Olympic cycle? Challenge decision. Red two points. Kilos. Red two points. Challenge lost. And that is going to be it. Armenia wins the goal. Arsen Haratunian wins the European Championship technical superiority over Suleiman Atli. Fifteen put up on the board, and the first gold medal of the night. Gold medal number.